Welcome to Retro Recast, where we recast all your favorites from the 80s and other decades into a more palatable form that we might enjoy. I'm Ralphie D, along with JB. What are we hitting them with this week, JB? Uh, today we're doing that 1981 classic, Stripes. Ooh, I like this movie. Perfectly cast. Yeah. But I'm going to make it better. I don't think you can do that because I'm the one that's going to do it this week. <laughs> all right, what's first up? All right, first off, we have the main character, John. Yes. I chose Eddie Murphy. Eddie Eddie who? Eddie Murphy. You chose Donkey? That's right. All I right. chose Gumby. All right. <laughs> you know what? I'm Gumby Diamond. I cannot hate on this pick. It is probably perfect. Um, so I'm just going to say uh, mine was is Michael Keaton. I'm not even standing behind my own pick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's got the chops. But you know what? He, he did Mr. Mom. He's, yeah, he's, but it, it was after that. Comedy. It was after that. Uh, so, I, I, it's not a bad pick, just yeah. worse than mine. I know, I know. What, what do you got next? Okay, for next I, we I'm have ashamed. John's buddy Russell. <laughs> yes. I chose Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks. What? What's the budget on this movie? It, it, it is <laughs> unlimited. Oh, I didn't know that was a criteria. It I, is in my mind. I didn't spend as much as you did. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I went with Kevin Klein because, you know, he's got that kind of lanky guy. All right, shit. All right, you got it. You got me, all right? He was so serious in the 80s, I, man. Well, and yeah. he was always no, depressing. The fish called Wanda. Come on. That came no, out that 80s. was a little later. He was serious and depressing. Oh, yeah, and then he did yeah. a fish called Wanda and shocked everybody that he could be he somewhat uplifting shops. and funny. Yeah. Oh, well, come on, man. He had it back then. He just didn't show it. He was out of the closet by then. <laughs> in that movie, In and Out. All right, who you got next? All right, next we have Sergeant Holka. Yeah, I chose Clint Eastwood mm. with my unlimited budget. Yeah, I see that <laughs> because back then, let's see, he was probably in the middle of his dirty, dirty hairy hair. phase. You know, that's a pretty good pick. I, I chose Clue Gallagher. That's right, Clue Gallagher. Horror fans will know who I'm talking about. I love him best in A Nightmare on Elm Street Two. Say what you want about that movie, it's great. Clue Gallagher is awesome. Next up, I'm ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have the two girls, Stella and Louise. Hey, they were not just two girls. They were MPs. They yes. were beautiful. And yeah. they were girlfriends of John and Russell. Mm -hmm. I chose Jennifer Jason Lee and Brooke Shields. Ooh. That, you know what? Those are good picks. Good thing your budget's unlimited. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Mine's reaching that because I chose Cheryl Ladd and Linda Blair. Ooh. Why don't we get the interns each their own segment? You know what I'm saying? We just got to lump the girls together. Yeah, that's right, dude. All right. <laughs> it's your show. Who's next? <laughs> next, we have Ox. I know who you picked. For Ox, I chose the immortal John Belushi. Ah! Yes, he was alive during the filming. <laughs> <laughs> unlimited budgets and unlimited lives. <laughs> he would have died before the movie aired, but he would have filmed it. This movie could have saved his life. You never know. You never know. All right. I'm saving I, lives. I, I I also chose a John, but I chose the good one, the good man, John Goodman. That's right. Oh, John Goodman. Yeah, you know. Why not? Roseanne. Oh, God. He's done more stuff than that. Not back then. Damn it, you're donning out of your element. <laughs> All right, lastly, we have Captain Stillman. Yes. For this part, I chose Burt Reynolds. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he would have taken the part because he was kind of the moron of the movie, but yeah. I think he would have done it beautifully. I, I think so, too. Yeah. That's comedy. Yeah, that's not bad. But once again, I'm coming out on top because I chose O.J. Simpson. That's right! <laughs> O.J. pre-murder Simpson. <laughs> Is now, when he did The Naked Gun, did he have any lines? Yeah, yeah, plenty of lines. Oh, I, I didn't notice. Yeah, oh, come on, don't tell me that. He was almost the Terminator. Well, actually, he was a Terminator. Let's end this show with uh, this. <laughs> I do believe you may have slightly edged me out, but uh, I like my picks. Hey. Checkmate, boss. Hey, call the uh, number on the screen. Let us know who you like better. Uh, I'm sorry. Pull yourself together.